What's going on, everybody? Happy uh, Saturday. It is January 4th, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's January 4th, I know that. Yeah, check it out. I'm out here in the uh, wilderness, like always, on this rainy day. It's rained uh, hardcore for the past two or three days. Luckily, the waters haven't gone up 20 feet, but they probably did last night for sure. Things are still being pushed around and exposed as we speak. I can see things getting pulled down. Yeah, I decided I had to come out today to try to take another shot out here. See what they expose for us. It's going to be a short little video. I'm just going to do updates and let you know if I find anything historic. I can't stay on the phone too long. I can't. Because it's still raining out here now. It, it's holding up for the past uh, 10 minutes, but it's still sprinkling. So I got to stay off the phone and hopefully it's not going to rain cats and dogs the rest of the day. Giving us that opportunity to find and recover what needs to be recovered out here. Cool little hot before rainy day. That's all. Let's just hope that we find more than just a beautiful blue bottle of water. <laughs> no, I didn't find this. I got this at the gas station. Show sure enough. Perfect colors if you ask me. Yeah. Imagine if we had found a crystal out here that color, but we're not in Arizona or Brazil. We're in Georgia. Yeah, but let's go ahead and keep going. I'll give you updates throughout the day. Let you know uh, if I find anything significant. Let's hope that we do since it has rained like crazy. There's a lot of things to be excited about in this new year for sure. Let's hope we uh, continue this on for as long as we can when we're able. Well, I've been here for about an hour, a little under an hour, actually. Just strolling through these places. That's all I'm doing. Looks like it's about to rain cats and dogs again. The sun keeps picking out from behind the clouds every now and then, but that's cool. Nothing yet until now, I think. I can tell I can see some napping on that thing right there. It's a broken tip. Well, it's not a tip. It's a broken. The tip is gone. I can tell you that right now. That's a point. A broken one. I know. Nothing big at all. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the normal ones we find quite a bit here in Georgia. Yeah. That's the bottom. You're looking at it. Yep. Pretty small. But we're going to keep it anyway. Let's keep it going. Hopefully we'll find more today. That are actually intact. But I don't know yet. Perfect. Well the temperature is going down a little bit. It was 60 degrees when I first got here. Now it's like 51. <laughs> but check this out. Oh, I know you see it. I know you do. But that's not the first thing I saw. The first thing I saw was this. Hoping it was a piece of a meteor or something. Maybe some large pieces of uh, a large piece of iron smelting. I don't know. But then I noticed something white. You better believe it. One of the brighter pieces I've seen out here. Well, the clear kind, that is. And the tip is intact, everybody. The tip is intact. Micronapping is intact. The bottom's intact. You better believe it. It looks like a piece of ice. Like it might get frozen out here. <laughs> like it is frozen out here in this winter time. Happy January 4th. Piece number two. All right. Time to keep going. Hope you guys like that piece. Well, they keep trying to bring out the sun. For us to get a little warmer out here. 
Yeah, I think it's going to get sunny today. Later on. Seems like a different day altogether, doesn't it? Sky's cleared out pretty nicely today. I'm sitting up here on top of this ridge, just chilling before I get back in the water. So I'm just going through the woods right now at the moment. It's beautiful out here. Even with the makeup that's cleaned off, it's still beautiful. It's just give you ladies the opportunity to uh, understand that. <laughs> yeah. Good old land of Lisa. Yeah, within the painting. Still have the lines, still have the foundation. Yeah. But don't mind me, I'm just going through a sentimental trip. That's all. As I sit up here on this this tree that's been pulled down by the by time. But I'm about to continue. Let me go ahead and get some more sun out here. Check out this little cozy spot. Look at that. All those lines, all that perfect line work. Could never get enough of this. Never could. Never will. Yeah, I've been in the waters. So I've gone about half a mile in this part right here. Assessing the zone, but look how perfect this is right here. Yeah, you guys probably don't think so. <laughs> but there's someone that always did. Always does. Yeah, but I I've I came down this way. There goes another tree of life, fell. You heard that boom. I know you did. Probably one of the ones that I have uh have left us a long time ago. Yeah. It's perfect out here though. I'd like to lay down in these waters even though it's frigid. <laughs> but I didn't find anything else, not yet anyway. I still have a good long ways to go. And it's about 1.30. I have three hours to locate some more. Let's hope we find more. But you're probably saying, man, you should have found at least six to 10 airheads already. Well, you do have a point. You do. I <laughs> hope I find many points today. But I've only found two, yeah in the travel so far yeah but that's all right it just proves to you that you're not going to be able to find everything you're looking for after a heavy rainstorm yeah it takes some practice takes some time maybe we might get more next time we come out here in another month or two i don't know yet but let's just go ahead and continue i'll give you some updates if i do see something that's going to be striking part of things we're always looking for. Well, once again, nothing much to report at the moment. And it's already about 2.30. Ooh, light transition. Gotta love it. Man, but check out this. Now, I know you guys are going to get excited. I don't know. It looks kind of fat. I don't know if that's going to be the real deal. It looks just like a, what I always find out here. Just something not, yeah. It's just a broken piece of quartz. Now, if you rewind the video... What do you think it looked like underwater? Let's just go ahead and put it back. That would have been a good find. It would have been a pretty large point if we found it. <laughs> found the real thing. Man, it's great out here. I'm too captivated by the beauty though. I've been rolling it slow, but this is the third creek I've been in all day. But check this out. You already know what that is. 
You're going to say, no, we don't. Of course you do. But it's going to be too big to get out of here. campsite ash weighs about five or six pounds look at that great specimen to try to get out of here but it is going to be nearly impossible to get in the pocket <laughs> hey look it's us holding up something historic yeah just take a reference picture before the sun goes down but that's not in focus yeah what do you guys want me to do with this since I can't get out of here Leave it alone or break it open. Yeah, you guys want me to break this thing open. But first, let me let me look at that right quick. Reference picture 10 minutes. Let's do this thing. You know there's not going to be any diamonds or anything in it. I don't know why you guys want to do this. Look at that. Solid ash. It won't even break open. That's cool right there. Yeah, I think I'll just throw it up on the bank. Maybe I'll carry some bags out here next time I come out. First, I gotta remember where I left it. As always. Yeah, look at that. Nothing but straight carbon from about what? 1200 BC, hopefully. Don't know. Oh dang, it's glass, crap, oh well, I thought this was a piece of the good stuff, it's exactly what it looks like doesn't it, piece of a sword, but it's nothing but a piece of glass, I think I'll just keep it, optical illusion, that's all that is, how we get played with out here all the time with all these optical illusions you think it's something historic but it's nothing at all just a broken piece of glass dang well add to the collection perfect yeah so that's good signs for all of us Let's go ahead and keep moving. I'm confident I might find at least two or three pieces out here. Let's keep going. Well, just a perfect piece of ice. Clear quartz just about. Well, even if it's not an airhead, at least I find something. Yeah, cool piece to add to the fish tank later. Well, wow, check out these colors. Go nice with an art piece, don't you think? Well, this is my last little hunting spot right here. I gotta get out of here. It's already 4.35. I have about an hour to get back before it gets piss black dark out here. And it's cold and it started raining again. Feels like it's going to snow, but I doubt that. It's not in the forecast. Let's just hope in our future forecast we'll find many more things out here. I haven't found anything else in a long time. 
no other points, artifacts, whatever it may be. And I found some nice historic stuff out here before. I guess I'm going to have to wait until springtime. Time to go. See everybody back at the Da Vinci pad. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Da Vinci pad. Yeah, I'm about to just run through all the stuff that I collected today during the day of my explorations. Nothing big. Just a quick little run through. All we had was about four hours, so we're not going to find much unless we have a chance to really do it right, you know, long term, or unless we run through real fast. But we, we can't do that. Cause we're gonna miss something if you know what i mean but yeah where do you where do you guys want to start i know where you guys want to start you want to start right here get an understanding about what this stuff is right here you already know what this is all right so now we have two valid points right here i don't know about this thing here you already saw all this captured on camera but i don't know if this is some kind of preform or what i think it might be but this here We'll take a look at that in a second, but this right here is the real authentic thing. Yeah, get it in the light a little bit right here. Yeah, check this out. It's got the micro napping on the left hand side. That's a cool point right there. I found a few like this. Almost one of the clearest pieces I've ever found. Just about. Looks like a piece of ice. But one thing that strikes me about a piece like this, an arrowhead like this, is that what if it was a piece that was bigger? An arrowhead that was a lot bigger. A spear tip, possibly. You're looking at it. I don't know, though. Because think about this. Human beings have always been very smart. Very smart. Even thousands of years ago, they figure out how to make something out of nothing. Or something that's broken. Separate it. And take another piece. You just have to think about a different perspective. A different angle. I've also found many pieces. Many broken airheads that look just like this. So where my index finger is, what if that was the portion of the larger tip? And then they just fashioned it and made it into something smaller. That's a cool looking piece. Intact tip, intact bottom. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not an archaeologist. <laughs> of course, I've always wanted to be. But you have this one here, real simple. It's got the napping all over the place. That's the bottom, not the top. Yeah, I found many pieces like this, even intact pieces. That's how I know that this is an authentic piece. Yeah, just the bottom one, the top is broken off for sure. Maybe if I turn it to a different perspective, maybe we would have uh, fashioned this into something else. I don't know. Maybe later. But here's a piece. I don't know about this. Nice piece of quartz. Looks like it might be a preform. I'm not sure. Maybe that was the bottom. Maybe it used to be a humongous. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll throw it into the study stash and study it for a few minutes. And add it to the fish tank. I don't know. This piece here is something else. I don't know about this one. Yeah, I thought it was a smashed piece of gravel, a crystalline piece of gravel. I don't know, but it's just that one side that tells me that it could be something. Maybe it's just an amateur point. Maybe they try to make it 
figure it out wasn't going to be nice and threw it somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe it could have been a, a scraper or something. I don't know. Yeah, those are the uh, most monumental finds of the day. Well, you already know what this stuff is. If I can get it to focus. Yeah, there we go. My bad. Got the aluminum cans going on to the stash. And you guys keep wanting to know. Ladies and gentlemen, you always want to know why I'm collecting the cans. Because I'm going to make an art piece out of this stuff. A flat art piece. Because you see the lines. We go over this every single time. Just orient it. That's all you have to do. Story of your times. To create a different kind of story. Yeah. I'm going to have to take a scrub brush with some of these, but don't scrub off too much. I don't want to take off too much color, too much tone. Because it's nature that finishes off the art piece. Look at that. They bring out the lines. Add it to the stash. Yeah, just like this one. Budweiser can. You can also see the uh, details. <laughs> no, I didn't drink that back in 1969. Yeah, let's get to the natural stuff right quick. Yeah, got this uh, poor little skull. I don't know what it was. Maybe a, uh, I don't know. What do you call those things? Uh, not wolverines? <laughs> Coyotes? I don't know. Some kind of doggy. And then you have this typical golden ratio. Yeah, this one's almost completely perfect. Incredible. Just a few pieces of garbage, that's all, right here. Some kind of base of a light bulb going going to the garbage can. Same thing here. Garbage. These are going going to the ball pile. And one of these days I'm just going to take them out someplace and have fun with them. I don't know. Probably bury it or something. It's made of plastic. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm not going to smoke it. Yeah. Have the tickle pottery pottery pieces not native american just your typical pieces modern age that's all added to the pile so i can start making that art piece like a puzzle play with the light a little bit yeah light and color it's going to take forever to make a couple of pieces yeah you know how i'm going to do my thing and just uh stack it up and cover it with something else yeah but that's all i have Perfect triangles. Found three of them. Yeah, just add it to the pile. Sell them later. Donate them. Whatever I might do with them, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Good old Trini symbols. Gotta love it. But that's your good old run through about what I found tonight, this afternoon, throughout my travels. I did seven miles today through all those creeks. And look what I found. Yeah, next to nothing. Yeah, let's hope next trip is going to be a whole lot better. I don't know yet, but they're the ones in charge. And they keep us running for real. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me go ahead and throw these things into the pile so I can get to work on the next thing. See you guys later.